Hi, good evening. Hi. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, Luis. Hi, Mary. Elena, how are you? Um, Very good. I, yeah, fine. Good. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, ah, don't uh, stop. <laughs> eh, la cuarentena. <laughs> yeah. Are you working uh, right now? No, telework. Ah, okay. Okay. But is it difficult or is it to, to work from home? Um, no, but um, atrasándome. Ah, you are like. Uh, uh -huh. es, que, es que mi trabajo es muy operativo mm -hmm, y está mm -hmm. muy estancado. Okay, so you are like uh, stop, like in on stop in your in your work. Mm -hmm. Uh, Maybe it is very slow, right? The way that you work. Mm -hmm. um, very no? slow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, a little bit. <laughs> okay. Hi, Pedro. Okay, Marilena, but yeah, we have to stay at, at, at in the house, you know, and we need yeah, to yeah. follow, we need to follow the directions of the people in charge. So, so yeah, we need to. Good night. We need to respect the rules. Hi, good evening, Pedro. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Nice, nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. I'm okay. And Luis, hi, Luis. I'm fine. I, are you, I'm are still you, working. You're still working? Yeah. Yeah. No, no. Right now I'm in my house, but I'm uh -huh. still working in the, how do you say, factory or? Yeah, in the factory. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm still working. Yeah, me too. I right. work in the city, but I need to go to the university, you know? We don't have students, but I have to go to the university. So, yeah. Anyways. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, we have to work. <laughs> we have yeah. to work. All yeah. right. Uh, have you checked the platform, people? Uh, yeah, of course. Where are you? In what le in what number are you? I finished. I I'm beginning the the third the third lesson. Ah, the third lesson. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. I finished yesterday the the second. And and all the the knowledge check. Okay, perfect, perfect. Marilena, in what section are you from the from the platform? I work in, <coughs> in the third, third lesson. In the lesson one? No, three. Ah, in the section number three. Yeah. Okay. But uh, either. Uh -huh. Neither, uh, uh -huh. soul, uh -huh. and two. Okay. But Sounds good. I am um, um, either, neither. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little, uh -huh, it's a little tricky to, to understand that. Uh -huh. Yeah, but yeah, probably next class we are going to, we're going to uh, follow that part. Okay. It all depends uh -huh. on how. It all depends on how fast we do today's class, but I think that maybe at the end today or at the beginning tomorrow we can start section number three. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Today is section number two. Yeah, today is section number two. Actually, ah, okay. yeah, we are going to finish. Let me see. Okay. Yeah, health problems or health, health complaints. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, we are we are still practicing the structure of the infinitives, and probably to today we are going to finish with section two point ten and two point eleven. Mm -hmm. uh, the application. Um, yes, I I I work, um, mm -hmm. but I know don't know. How, uh, I know I don't have 
account. You don't have what? No tengo una cuenta, o sea, no, no tengo una cuenta, pero, o sea, lo hice. Sí, ah, ok. Me pedí una cuenta, pero no sé si eso es válido. Ah, en, a, en, a, en, a, en el link que yo les pasé. En el link, ajá. Ah, no, no, no. De hecho, eso les explicaba, que cuando les aparezca que tienen que crear una cuenta, solamente le dan a X, porque eso es un servicio gratis. Ajá, ajá. Eso, no, eso no es parte de Insafor, sino que eso es una, parte, una práctica extra okay. que yo les estoy dando. Sí, sí. Uh -huh. Okay. Perdón, ajá, eso no es de inglés corporativo, sino que de, de, es, es propia, es una, es una aplicación que se puede usar así en línea. Uh -huh. Sí, pero ahí no es necesario registrarse ni nada, sino que hacen que se registre para que tenga, digamos, un, un control de las actividades que usted ya hizo o de las, eh, de las fichas que usted ha revisado y cosas así, pero no es necesario. Uh -huh. Ok, uh, I am practicing. Ah, ok, you're practicing. Uh, Ok, nice. Yeah. Ok, en Pedro, ¿en what section are you? In the, I am in the section number 2.11 and just in the right now finish it. Ok, ok, yeah. So, so with we'll today's, review again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with today's class, I, I'm pretty sure that you can, that you can uh, complete that part, ok? And Saida. Yeah. Hi, Saida. Hi, teacher. And how are you? Hi, fine. Mm -hmm. Excellent. In what section are you from the platform? Today mm -hmm. I start the section two. Today you start to the section two. Okay, that's nice. Uh -huh. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. All right. So let me see. Okay, let me share this with you. And we're going to do a very quick review so that we can start, probably we can start section number three, okay? Um, so, yesterday we were learning about infinitive complement, okay? Infinitive complement. Um, we're going to use the infinitive complement to ask or give an advice, okay? Or a recommendation or a, uh, yeah, an advice or a recommendation, okay? So I was explaining that we have infinitive and we have gerund. Infinitive is when we have uh, the to and then verb, okay? For example, to take, to drink, um, to eat, to watch, um, to use, to check, <coughs> etc. And also we have gerunds. Gerunds is when we have the ing. But today we are not going to use the ing, okay? It is like taking, drinking, eating, and etc. okay? In, and we have to use only one of them. We cannot combine the two of them. Okay, no podemos combinar los dos, sino que nada más o to take or taken. Pero no podemos decir to taking, okay? So also we were learning some phrases um to, to 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 give recommendations for example it is helpful to okay it is helpful to and you were giving me some uh recommendations here for life in general for example it is helpful to have a car it is helpful to save money then it is important okay it is important to take a pill it is important to study english it is important to go to the doctor uh, it is a good idea, okay, it is a good idea to cook healthy food. Uh, it is a good idea to read a book, etc. okay? And then I have some problems and some questions here, and you were giving me some recommendations. For example, what can I do for a headache? Ah, it is a good idea to take a pill. It is important to go to the doctor. It is helpful to have medicine in the house. It is important to take a rest in the house, etc. Okay, those are some recommendations for my problem. Okay, the next one: What should I do for a stomach ache? Ah, it is helpful to drink small, It is helpful to drink an alcacelcel. It is a good idea to drink mint tea. It is important to drink liquid or to eat. Okay, and we have one example using nut. Okay. In negative, it is important not 
to eat beans, okay? Not to eat beans. I think we have another example here, yes. Uh, what can I do for a flu? It is a good idea not to eat ice cream, okay? Not to eat ice cream. So, I have uh, another question here. Can I, what should I do to avoid having coronavirus? You are giving me some examples here. And now, I'm going to continue with other questions, okay? And you're going to help me. What can I do to save money? Remember, we have three phrases. It is helpful to, it is important to, it is a good idea to, okay? So, tell me some recommendations. What can I do to save money? Mm -hmm. It's a good idea to open a account bank. To open an account in a bank. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. It is a good idea to open an account in a bank. Okay, nice. Another, another recommendation. It is helpful to buy meat in the supermarket. It is helpful. <laughs> Buy, to, buy, to buy meat, meat, carne. Ah, to buy meat in the supermarket. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sometimes they have promotions, right? It is yeah, helpful right. to buy meat in the supermarket. Uh -huh. Another recommendation? It is a good idea to eat at home. Okay. Yeah, not in a restaurant, right? Yes. Eat, eat at home. Yeah, beans, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but not hamburgers okay meat <laughs> sorry uh, beans if you want to stay at home one more it is a good idea um make a presupuesto. Ah, a presupuesto it's a budget budget, budget. Uh -huh. a budget okay yeah because every single month you need to see uh, okay i need this money for electricity I need this money for water, I need this money for my cell phone, I need this money for the internet, and I need this money for school, and then I have this money uh, for food, okay? And then you have a budget, uh -huh. okay, nice. The last question, uh, what should I do to speak more English? What should I do to speak more English? Let me, oops, let me change it. Uh, let me, what should I do to uh, practice more English? Um, it's uh -huh. important to uh, practice with other people. Ah, okay. It is important to practice with other people. Excellent. Uh -huh. Another? It is a good idea to read English book. It is a good idea to read English books. Excellent. Uh -huh. Another recommendation. What should I do to practice more English? Mm -hmm. it, it is helpful to listen English music. Ah, to music in English. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, nice. It is helpful to listen to music in English, okay? And one more. What should I do to practice more English? Uh -huh. I have one. It is important to send... A good idea, idea uh, to write uh, in the vocabulary. Okay, it is a good idea to write the vocabulary. Okay, perfect. Also, it is important to send English messages to the teacher. Okay, so that you can <laughs> practice. Yeah, you can practice more English okay. with the teacher. Okay, and you can practice English. <laughs> okay, nice, nice. Okay, perfect. So, if you see it is very simple, we can use the phrases. It is a good idea. It is helpful and it is important, okay? Now we're going to practice a short conversation, okay? 
And we're going to practice this word. Can you please repeat? Suggest. 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 Mm -hmm. Suggest. Suggest. Okay. Uh, suggest. Mm -hmm. That means sugerencia. Okay. Suggest. Uh -huh. Okay. What do you suggest? Que me recomienda o que me sugiere? Okay. So we are going to listen to a conversation between a pharmacist and Mr. Sweb. Okay. So, hi, may I help you? Yes, please. Could I have something for a cough? I think I'm getting a cold. Well, I suggest a, back, a box of these cough drops. Thank you. What do you suggest for dry skin? Try some of this new lotion. It is very good. Okay, and one more thing. My husband has no energy these days. Can you suggest anything? He should try some of these multivitamins. They are excellent. Right. May I, may I have three large bottles, please? Okay. Uh, okay, remember cough? Remember what the meaning, what's the meaning of cough, right? Cough. You know the meaning of cough. Let's see. Also cold. It is not like cold. The, the water is cold. No, okay. It is an illness or a sickness. Cold, okay. Uh, cough drops. Do you know the meaning of cough drops? Cough drops? No. No? They, yeah, they are like pills or, um, yeah, they are like, like candies or pills that you, can, that you can lick for cough, okay? Like big, that we have like the big candies or sorritone, you know? Those are cough drops, okay? Cough drops. Um, dry skin. What's the meaning of dry skin? Mm -hmm. Dry skin. Piel seca. Yeah, piel seca, okay, or piel reseca. Nosotros que le llamamos piel reseca. Eh, a lotion, okay, que sería como un, eh, una cremita o, un, o una... No es loción, porque loción nosotros le llamamos loción al perfume. Pero loción es como una crema, algo que se pone, es similar al ointment. Pero el ocean es un poco más líquido. Okay. Eh, multivitamins, eh, vitaminas o multivitaminas. Okay. Multivitamins. And that's it. Okay. Any other new word? ¿Alguna otra palabra que no reconozcan por acá? No? Okay. So, let's see. Pedro, you are the pharmacist. And Saida, you are Mr. Sweb. Okay. Hi, may I help you? Saida. Um, I'm sorry, I, yeah, I yeah. don't listen. Okay. Yes, uh -huh. please. Cool. I have something for cold. I think I get in a cold. Well, I suggest a box of these cough drops. Thank you. And what do you su suggest for dry skin? Try some of this uh, new lotion. It's uh, very good. Okay. And one more thing. My husband has no energy this day. Can you suggest anything? He should try uh, some of these multivitamins. They are excellent. Great, may I have three large bottles, please? Okay, perfect, perfect. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you. Let's see, Luis, you are the pharmacist. And Maria Elena, you are Mr. Sweb. Okay. Hi, may I help you? Yes, please, could I have something for a cook? I think what? I am getting a cold. Well, I suggest a box of these cold drops. Thank you. And what do you suggest for dry skin? Try some of this new lotion. It's very good. Okay. Uh, one more time. My husband has no energy. Energy this day. This day. 
Can you suggest anything? You should try some of these multivitamins. They are excellent. Great. May I have three large, large bottles, please? Yeah. That okay, teacher. I, I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I was speaking and I couldn't. <laughs> All right, so pharmacist, I'm going to be the pharmacist. And uh, Margarita, hi, Margarita. You are going to be Mr. Webb. Okay. All right. Hi, may I help you? Yes, please. Call, I have something for cough. I think I am getting a cold. Well, I suggest a box of these cough drops. Thank you. And, and what do you suggest for drinking skin? Try some of these new lotion. It's very good. Okay. And one more thing. My husband has no energy these days. Can you suggest anything? He should try some of these multivitamins. They're excellent. Great. May I have three large bottles, please? Yes. Okay. Excellent. Thank you, Margarita. All right. So we are going to see something called modals. Okay. Modals. And don't, and let's not get confused modals with modales. Okay. Modals and modales is not the same thing. Uh, modals are some specific words that we use in English for, uh, for auxiliaries, okay? And of course, modales in English is uh, good manners, okay? Good manners. That's how we call modales in English, okay? Good manners. But in this case, we're going to see a part of grammar that's called modals, okay? And we're going to use modals for suggestions and requests. For example, when we want something, okay? When we want something and we want to ask for that thing. We saw some examples in the conversation because the old woman wanted some medicine, okay? And she was asking some questions in order to get the medicine, okay? Also, the pharmacist was giving some suggestions or recommendations, okay? And we are going to see some of those models. The first one that I know that you can use a lot is can. Okay. Remember that we can use can for abilities. Okay. We can use can for abilities. But also we can use can for requests. Okay. Uh, usually we have a question when we want to have a request. For example, uh, can I use your cell phone? Okay. Can I use your cell phone? That is a request, okay? I want to use your cell phone because maybe I have an emergency, okay? I have an emergency, so that is a request, okay? A request. Do you have any problem and do you want me to help you with something right now? You can invent some questions, okay? Can, teacher, can you? Help uh -huh. me. Ah, can you help me? Okay, that is a request. What else? What else can you ask for? Can you explain me? Ah, can you explain to me? Uh-huh, perfect. That is a request, okay? What else? What is something else that you can ask for? Uh -huh. Can you tell me one direct direction? Ah, can you tell me one direction? Perfect, uh-huh. One direction, another example. Uh -huh. In the possibility, sure. No, yeah, but right now we're doing only can, okay? Can we're I call to... you? Ah, can I call you? Okay, excellent, okay? So that is a request, okay? That is a request. Now, what if you want can to I give... Can I help you? <laughs> Excuse me? Can I help you? Ah, can I help you? Excellent, okay, can I help you? Now, if I want to make a suggestion, I can also use can, okay? In the case of the requests, I have it at the beginning. Casi siempre cuando lo tengo para, una, eh, para un favor o a request, casi siempre lo tengo al principio. 
okay? In a suggestion, I have it in the center. Uh, for example, uh, you can use my cell phone. Mm. Okay, mm. you can use my cell phone, don't worry, okay? Because it's like, mm, you know, guys, my cell phone doesn't have battery, okay? I don't have battery, people. And I need to make a phone call, okay? It is an emergency. And a suggestion or recommendation you can give me is not, don't worry, teacher, you can use my cell phone, okay? You can use my cell phone, don't worry, okay? So in that case, I am giving a recommendation or I, can, I am giving a, a, a suggestion in this case, okay? So that in is how... Uh-huh. In the where teacher is not using uh, to in the infinitive. No. Yeah, in, the, in this case, we use the verbs in the normal way. Remember that we are going to use to only with that phrases. It is helpful to, it is a good idea to, it is important to. In this case, the only phrase that I have is you, okay? In that case, I cannot use to, okay? You can use my cell phone, um, you can use my car, okay? Don't worry, you can use my car, okay? Uh, you can, I think you can call him, okay? I think you can call him. That is a suggestion, okay? Or a recommendation. All right. Uh, now we're going to see another one. Could, okay? Could. Mm -hmm. Could. In this case, the pronunciation is like this. Could. Repeat. Could. 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 Uh huh. Could. Could. Okay. If you see, I don't pronounce the O and I don't pronounce the L. Okay. Could. Could, okay, good. good, yeah, and the same good. thing, okay, the same thing, even if you want to translate it, can means puedo, okay, puedo usar su teléfono, puedo usar su teléfono, in the case of could, it's a little bit more formal, okay, it is a little bit more formal, I can use the same question, could I use your cell phone, podría usar su teléfono, okay, could, that is a little bit more formal, okay? Es un poco más formal. Se usa cuando la, o sea, incluso trata de usted a la persona, le tiene respeto, okay? Could I use your cell phone, okay? Podría usar su teléfono. Can is puedo, okay? Uh, puedo usar tu teléfono. You know, it's when you have confidence with the person, cuando tiene confianza con la persona, okay? Now for a suggestion, it is pretty you similar could. to, it's, yeah, you could, uh -huh. Ah, yeah, don't worry, you could, uh, you could do that later. Mm -hmm. Podrías hacer eso después, don't worry, okay? You could do that later. Mm -hmm. I am giving a recommendation or a suggestion, okay? So, one more time, if you translate can, it means puede o puedo, okay? Could, podría, okay, podría. Tú podrías, se podría, okay? Etc. In a question, it is a little bit more formal. Okay. <coughs> In a question, it's a little bit more formal. All right. Alguna pregunta hasta acá? En esas dos? Casi siempre se toma en cuenta cuál va a usar de acuerdo a la formalidad de la situación. Okay. Porque no hay una fórmula secreta que diga, mire, en este caso solo va a usar que, no solo en este caso va a usar could sino que depende de la formalidad del asunto, ¿ok? Ya se solo le dan dos opciones, digamos si fuese eh, should o could, usted depende del, del, de la situación, usted decide cuál usar, pero de lo contrario, uno es más formal que el otro, ¿ok? Hasta ahorita esa es la única diferencia, que uno es más formal que el otro, ¿right? Right. Excuse me. No questions? Okay. No, all right. Okay, perfect. The next one, May. May. This is like the month, okay? Es como el mes, así se dice igual. May, okay? Mm. May. In May this I'll case, happen. in this case, I am going to use also May for a question or a request or a suggestion, okay? Now, remember, can is, uh, it is a little informal, okay? Could, it is more formal. May is even more formal, okay? 
it is like uh, yeah if you translate it could and may are synonyms okay because could means podría and may also means podría the only difference is the level of uh, formality okay the level of formality la, el nivel de formalidad que lo va a usar okay eh, can sería informal could sería un poco formal y may sería mucho más formal por eso es que por lo menos si usted fue alguna vez a clases de inglés, en una academia o donde sea, eso siempre para entrar al salón de clases, le decían que dijera, may I get in? May I get in? ¿Podría entrar? Ok. Porque estamos en un ambiente de educación en el que se tiene que guardar respeto hacia el maestro. Entonces, por eso se dice may. Ok. May. Entonces, voy a poner ese ejemplo. May I get in? ¿Puedo entrar? Ok. ¿O podría entrar? Uh -huh. May I get in? Ok. Uh, igual, si no conoce a la persona, may I use your cell phone? May I... Um, I don't know, what, what is another... Uh, what is another request? Excuse me? May I... Ajá, uh -huh, Pedro, I don't listen to you. Ah, uh, no, it's okay. May I help you, for example? Ah, may I help you? More common. Uh -huh. Yeah, may I help you? Mm -hmm. That is also very common. Uh -huh. um, yeah, may Excuse I help me. You? Yeah. How it is correct? Can I say may I, may I get go? Sorry, may I get go to the bathroom or can I get go to the bathroom? Ah, may I go to the bathroom or can I go to the bathroom? Both. I think it's better to say may I go to the bathroom. Okay. Hey, okay. Uh -huh. May I go to the bathroom? Uh -huh. Because can is like ability, you know, I can go to the bathroom, <laughs> no problem. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I, I think it's more formal to say, may I go to the bathroom? Uh -huh. May I go to the bathroom? Okay. Now for a suggestion okay. also, we can say may, okay. Uh, you may tell her. Okay. You may tell her the truth, okay? You may tell her the truth because it is important to know, okay? You may tell her the truth. Uh, you may you may use my cell phone. Uh -huh. You could use my cell phone. It's the same thing, okay? Es simplemente el nivel de formalidad que se usa para cada uno, okay? Let's see the next one. Now, this is what um, Pedro was asking for. Should and suggest. Okay, should and suggest. In this case, we're going to use one for questions and one for uh, one for request. Okay, for example, well, actually, we can use both. If you remember the conversation, let's go back to the conversation. The person asks, uh, let me see. I suggest a box of these cough drops, okay? Or what do you suggest, okay? We can use both, okay? Que me sugiere, okay? Que me sugiere. What do you suggest, okay? Or what do you recommend, okay? Uh, I suggest, uh, I suggest, let me see, we have in the conversation, I suggest a box of these cough drops. I suggest, uh, I suggest some vitamins, okay? I suggest some vitamins, okay? What do you suggest? Que me recomiendas, okay? I suggest some vitamins, okay? Also, we can use should, should, okay? Should means debería, okay? Debería, like a recommendation, okay? What should I do? Que debería de hacer, you know? When you're asking for a recommendation, what should I do? Que debería de hacer, because I don't know, okay? What should I do? Ah, the suggestion is, you should, uh, you should stay in your house, okay? You should stay in your house because that is a recommendation, okay? Or a suggestion in this case. 
The only difference is the position of the different words, okay? The position of the different words. Eso siempre suggest, lo usamos eh, después de un verbo, después de un sujeto, okay? What do you suggest? You suggest. Ah, I suggest, okay? En cambio, should lo puedo usar después de, de una WH word. Where should I go? ¿Dónde debería de ir? What should I do? ¿Qué debería de hacer? Uh, who should I go with? ¿Con quién debería ir? Okay, etc. So, vamos a hacer una pequeña práctica sobre esto. Porque si se fijan, es, es siempre la misma posición tienen todos. Okay? The only thing that changes, lo único que cambia un poquito es el nivel de formalidad para cada uno. Okay? Number one, can. Okay? It is like very low. Could. It is a little bit more formal. And may, it is more formal, okay? And then should and suggest, uh, we use it for recommendation, recommendations or suggestions, okay? Let's see. Oh, yeah, I remember. In the exercise that you have also on the platform, you have some verbs with try and have. Tienen unas oraciones con try y have. Igual eso es muy, es muy necesario saberlo. Porque casi siempre estos se utilizan al iniciar una oración. Para hacer como órdenes. ¿Ok? Para dar como órdenes. Try significa tratar. ¿Ok? En ese caso, para dar una orden, vamos a hacer, lo vamos a decir como intenta esto. Uh, intenta con una aspirina o intenta, intenta llamar. ¿Ok? And also we can use have. ¿Ok? En ese caso, had podría ser tomado como eh, drink, ¿ok? O ingerir. En ese caso, casi siempre lo tomamos como had, ¿ok? For example, trying this ointment for your burn. Si se fijan, no tengo sujeto acá antes de try. Pero lo puedo usar así porque puedo hacer una orden, ¿ok? Try this ointment for your burn, ¿ok? Also, try to use your cell phone. Trate de usar su teléfono. Try to make a phone call. Uh, trate de hacer una llamada, okay, etc. You can give some orders or suggestions, okay? No suenan en realidad como que fuesen órdenes, sino como que una recomendación, okay? Try this. Uh, try cough drops. Try, uh, try using the app. Eh, intenta usar la aplicación, ok, etc. Also, I can use have. Have this pill for your headache. Eh, toma esa pastilla para su dolor de cabeza. Okay? Toma. Aquí no dice drink, pero siempre se toma como, como desde ese punto de vista. Have this pill. Eh, como tómala o como ingérela. Okay? Have this pill for your headache. Okay? Have, this fee, have this pill for your headache. Okay. ¿Alguna pregunta hasta acá? No. 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 Okay. All right. Okay, now can you ask me some questions using suggest? And I'm going to give you a, a suggestion. Hagan, traten de hacerme preguntas como con suggest. Uh, y yo le voy a tratar de responder usando suggest. Y si no se le ocurre uno con suggest, Tal vez una con should, ¿ok? Siempre, en ese caso, siempre es importante usar una WH question. Así como what, where, who, when, ¿ok? Etc. Vamos a ver si alguien me puede hacer una. Uh -huh. Acuérdense que puede ser por una, por una enfermedad, ¿ok? Like in the conversation. Mm -hmm. What should I do if I have fever? Ah, what should I do if I have fever? I think you should... Hmm. I think you should take an acetaminophen. <laughs> okay. I think you should take an acetaminophen. Okay, perfect. Another one? In the case of suggest, you can say, what do you suggest for? And then you say the, the, the health problem, okay? What, is, what do you suggest for? And then you say the problem. 
Let's see, Saida, can you ask me one question? Uh huh. Try. <laughs> where should I go if I sick? Ah, where should I go if I am sick? Uh, I think you should you should go to. Uh, right now, I think you should go to a private doctor. Okay. Yes. Yeah, because in the hospital, <laughs> no. <laughs> It's it's too complicated <laughs> right now, okay? Or Seguro Social? No, it's, it's too dangerous complicated. Now. And it's dangerous. It's dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> it's dangerous, okay? Perfect. <laughs> All right, thank you. Let's see, Pedro. What do you suggest or what should I do? Mm -hmm. Excuse me, Pedro, you're, we're not listening to you. Okay. Yeah, now What yes. should I do? Uh -huh. for, for learn. Quickly, English. Ah, what should I do to learn uh, English quickly? I, th yeah. I think you should speak more English at work. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, perfect. Now, I'm, yeah, no problem. Now I'm going to ask the question and you're going to answer. Okay, for example, Maria Elena, uh, what should I do or what do you suggest for a headache? What do you suggest for a headache? I take. I suggest. Uh huh. I suggest some aspirin. Ah, okay. I suggest some aspirin. Excellent. Thank you. Let's see, Margarita. Um. Let's see. Where should I go if I want to watch a movie? Um, I suggest uh, see Netflix. Ah, okay, okay. Ah, in that the case, for Netflix. Yeah, but the question was with should, so you need to answer with should. Okay, you should. Uh -huh. oh, okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You should. You should see a Netflix ah, platform. Okay. okay. Yeah. Right now, it is very dangerous to go to the cinema, right? So yeah, you should uh, see the net Netflix platform. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Nice. So you see, it is very easy to make a question or an answer using suggest. Okay. Also, we are going to practice using try and have. Okay. Uh, it's the same thing. For example, what should I do for a stomach ache? What should I do for a stomach ache? Luis, can you tell me one recommendation you can try or have? Uh -huh. For a stomach. For a stomach ache. Uh -huh. For a stomach ache. Okay. Try. You, I can say you should try some Alcacelsa. Okay. Yeah, you can say you should try some Alka-Seltzer or you can tell me only try some Alka-Seltzer and both are okay. Okay. The two options are okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can say Perfect. you should try an Alka-Seltzer or try an Alka-Seltzer. Okay. Perfect. Um, let's see, Maria Elena. Uh, what should I do? What should I do if my car is not working in San Salvador? What should I do if my car is not working in San Salvador? Drive uh -huh. our bus. Ah, okay. Try to take a bus. Uh -huh. uh, try to take a bus. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that could be a good option. Yeah, because if I stay in the car, that's dangerous, right? <laughs> Uh-huh, all right. Saida, uh, let's see Saida. What should I do? What should I do for a flu? Excuse me, can you repeat? What should I do for a flu? Mm, try some pills. Try some pills, excellent, okay? Try some pills, okay? Nice. Let's see, I'm just want to show you 
the exercise on the platform, okay? Let's see. Now, this is the exercise that you have to do on the platform. Just for you to, for you to see. I think I haven't done this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For example, it says, complete these conversations with the modal verbs can, could, may, have, try, suggest, or should. Okay? Todas estas palabras que hemos estado practicando ahorita, eh, con esas tienen que completar las oraciones o las preguntas. Okay? For example, eh, this is the first conversation. Okay? Uh, blah, 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 help you? Yes. I have something for itchy eyes. Okay. Entonces ahí usted lo completa, ya sea con can, con could, con may, con have, con try, con suggest, or con should. Okay. Todo ahí de acuerdo a lo que usted crea más conveniente. Okay. Creo que yo hice una por acá. Yeah. For example, eh, hice la tercera. Try some of these herbal tea. It's very relaxing. Okay. Entonces ahí, si no le funciona con uno, pues probablemente con los demás le vaya a funcionar, ¿ok? Porque no sé cuántas porque respuestas. Ya, yeah, exactly, porque no sé exactamente qué, qué, cuál le han puesto en la plataforma. Pero sí, no hay donde perderse. Eso es una, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete. Una de las siete opciones tiene que ser, ¿ok? Igual solo tiene que ser una palabra, no, no necesariamente toda la oración, sino que solamente una palabra, ¿ok? Así que esta parte está bien, bien fácil. Um, also, in the listening, uh, you have one, uh, one audio for try this. Okay? So you have to listen to four people, talk to a pharmacist, choose each person's problem. Okay? Ahí nada más de escuchar. Y ahí usted selecciona A or B. Para cada una de las, eh, de cada una de las conversaciones, okay? de cada una de las personas. Okay? So it is very easy. Okay? En ese caso no tenemos muchas opciones. Es que hay siempre de, de escribir una palabra o dos. Okay? So, questions? No. No? Okay. Everything clear. Okay, so this is the last part of. Um, this is the last part of uh, section number two, okay? This is the last part of section number two. I think we have some minutes to practice uh, section number three. So let's begin with that part, okay? All right. One more time, we have a conversation. And we're going to practice another model, okay? Seguimos con los models en este caso. Uh, we're going to practice with would, okay? Would. We have it over here, okay? Would. So listen to me. Uh, say, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Sure. Where do you want to go? Well, what do you think of Indian food? Mm, I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I'm not either. I'm not either, I guess. It's a bit spicy. Mm, how do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it a lot. I do too. And I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Iroha. Oh, I've always wanted to go there. Terrific. Let's go. Let's see. Do you know the meaning of spicy? Spicy? Uh -huh. It's of spicy. Especias. Mm, no. Picante. Picante. Okay. Picante. Uh, for example, something spicy in our country is pepper. Okay. Eh, los chilitos. Okay. Pepper. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Yeah. In this case, terrific is something good. Okay. Terrific is something good. The bad word for terrific is terrible. Okay. Terrible is something bad, and terrific is something really nice, okay? Terrific is something really nice. So listen one more time. Uh, say you would like to go out to dinner tonight? 
Sure, where do you want to go? Well, what do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I'm not either. I guess it's a bit spicy. Mm, how do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it a lot. I do too. And I know a nice place, a nice uh, Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Airoha. Oh, I've always wanted to go there. Terrific. Let's go. All right, let's see. Uh, Saida, you are Jeff. And Luis, you are Bob. Okay. Uh, excuse me, teacher. Uh huh. What was the meaning of mood? Mood. Ah, yeah, yeah, exactly. I have a question. Uh, what? Is, uh -huh. Yeah, the I'm meaning. Not, I'm not really in the mood for it today. Um, I'm not really in the mood. Como que no me siento. Como que no tengo ganas de. Mm -hmm. No tengo ganas de eso. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not in the mood for it. Uh -huh. Algo así se puede traducir. No tengo ganas de. Uh -huh. O no. Uh -huh. Ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. es que estoy tratando de buscar otro sinónimo, pero creo que es en otro contexto. Uh, I'm in a bad mood. Ando de malas ganas. I'm in a bad mood también sería como de ando de malas ganas. Ok. O I'm in a good mood. Ando de buenas. De buenas. Eh, no sé cómo se dice en español. Ando de buenas. I'm, I'm in a good mood. Ando de buenas. Ok. Pero en ese caso. Uh, I'm in the mood for. Ok. Ahí sí es como que sí. Ando ganas de. Ando ganas de eso. Uh -huh. All right. So, Saida, you're Jeff. Okay. And Luis, say, you're Bob. Uh -huh. Say, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Sure. Where do you want to go? Well, what do you think of Indian food? I it, but I'm not really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not either. I guess it's a bit spicy. Mm. How do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it a lot. I do too. And I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Airoha. Oh, I always want to go there. Terrific, let's go. Okay, perfect, thank you. Uh, mm -hmm. The last one, Jeff. Uh, Pedro, you're going to be Jeff. And uh, Maria Elena, you're going to be Bob. Excuse me, Pedro. Okay, now yes, Pedro, we listen to you. Yeah. Say, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Sure. Where do you want to go? Well, what do you think of Indian food? I love it but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I'm not even. I guess it's a bit of spice. Mm, how do you like Japan food? Oh, I like it a lot. I do too. And I know a nice Japan restaurant near here. Um, I always want to go there. Very good. Let's go. Excellent. Okay, nice. Thank you. So, we're going to see so and two. Right now, we're going to uh, we're going to focus on so and two. Okay, because I know that we have neither and either, but we're going to see those tomorrow. Okay. Uh, first of all, we need to understand that so and to mean me too, okay? Because you can say me too, but also you can say this in a different way. And we're going to learn how to use the two of them, okay? Uh, first of all, I have this sentence. I am 30 years old. Can you tell me, can you tell me, 
Yeah, can you tell me what is the verb in this case? Uh -huh. What is the verb from this sentence? Uh -huh. What is the, the principal verb? Um, 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 okay, uh, um, so you need to see what the principal verb is in order to answer. Because if I say I am 30 years old, you can say me too, okay? But you know, that's very simple. There are other ways in which you can say me too. The first one is, so am I. If you see, I have so at the beginning, then I have am, and finally I, okay? So it is like in the opposite, okay? So am I. If I tell you mm -hmm. I am 30 years old and you tell me so am I, you are telling me, ah, me too, okay? But in a different way. So am I, okay? So am I. Now also you can tell me I am too, okay? Mm -hmm. I am 30 years old, ah, I am too, okay? I am too, and that's correct, okay? And that's correct. Now, if you tell me, hey, Pedro, I am 30 years old, he's going to be like, really? I am not, okay? Really? I am not, okay? Yeah, in that case, it's, it's different, okay? No, I am not, okay? Now, let's see. I'm, I'm going to tell you another sentence and you're going to answer, okay? So am I? I am too, or really? I am not, okay? For example, I am a teacher. What about you? What do you say? I am too. I am too. <laughs> Are you a teacher? Yes, and uh, 20 years ago in, ah. the, in, the, in the Asuncion College. Ah, okay, okay. Marilena, I am a teacher. What about you? Uh, I am not a teacher, but I am a learner. Ah, okay. Yeah, remember that in the negative way, you have to answer like this. Really? I am not. Uh, okay. Really? really? I am not. I'm not yet. Okay. I am not yet. In the future, yes. Right. Uh, Luis, I am a teacher. Really? I'm not. Okay. I'm technician. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Now, if I tell you I am a student, what do you tell me? Mm -hmm. So I am. So, so am I. I. Uh huh. So am I oh, or so I am I, too. Uh -huh. I am too. I am too. Excellent. Okay. Or so am I. Yo sé que cuando respondemos con so am I, como que se invierte todo y esa, esa es una de las que cuesta acostumbrarse. Ajá, suena raro, pero créame que cuando usted le responde así a alguien, este, suena bastante bien, la verdad. So am I. Okay. Entonces, lo, lo importante de eso, lo importante de eso. Formal, uh, I will so say I'm yes. Right. Yeah, I will say so. It's a little bit more formal because it's like it is not like me too. Because me too is very simple. You know? me too is very simple. Okay, and me too is like yeah, me too. Okay, me too. <laughs> but so am I. It's like uh, yo también, but in a more sophisticated way. Let's say mm -hmm. in a more sophisticated way. Mm -hmm. So the important thing here is that we need to pay attention to the verb because the verb is going to tell us if you're going to use am, if I'm going to use uh, do, or if I'm going to use another one, okay? So I just want you to think about that and we, we will continue practicing this tomorrow, okay? So thank you so much, everybody. Have a good night. Take care and see you tomorrow, okay? Bye-bye. Okay, good night, everybody. Good night, good night. Good night. Thanks.